What's up guys, my name is Section from the Deviants, and today we're going to be reacting to Fruits Basket Season 2, Episode 13. So in the last episode, we focused on the teacher, actually. And through the teacher's flashbacks, we kind of got a better sense as to like what happened in the past between Hattori, uh, his girlfriend slash fiance, and then also her relationship with uh, Shigure. Now, in the end, it left off with her and Shigure going out and getting something to eat. And I hope that goes on. It wasn't just like a one-time thing just for that episode. I hope it like continuously happens. I'm telling you, I, I think this is what Shigure wants all along. I, I think he wants all the Soma members or all the Zodiac members to find a significant other. That way they can try to leave Akito, leaving her alone. That way Shigure can just like swoop in and take her. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight on into it. Make sure with original content as always. All right, let's get going in three, two, one, and go. A dead. Freaking oh, guys and your freaking well, gross fur. You people shoot up overnight like weeds. The break obviously didn't do much for you in the femininity department. <laughs> maybe you should just give up. Yeah, maybe I will. Can't even get one man to give me a second look. I mean, uh, the rooster dude gave you a second look. The aura of a woman is desperate in love. Okay. Now that you mention it, she does seem pretty upset. I don't think it's his choice, though. Yuki! These are oh. for you. A souvenir of summer sweetheart biscuits. Are you acting nicer now? I hope you now? like them. Simply grace me with a grateful smile and it will be the only <laughs> gift I could ever need. Upon it, I will soar. Is he going to smile, though? high into the heavens on pure white wings. <gasps> Minigawa, senpai? Uh, I'm sorry I got distracted. Now, senpai, tell us what you did over summer break. Went to the beach? That's all. Ooh, With? Beach vacation. Don't say Toto, though. Fun. Well, well, hello. What do you got there? Something yummy? Um. Who is that girl? Uh, yeah, who's that? <gasps> they say she's a tempter. She seduces men with their looks. Yeah. What's with that? Are you like mocking us or something? Ooh, you're pretty scary. Yeah, sure I am. Can we talk for a second? Is that um Asuna? Who are you? And where'd you come up with that nickname? Oh, Union, there you are. Oh. Oh, I'm not surprised. Long time no see, Union. I totally forgot. How's your summer break, man? What's with the nickname? If I had my way, it would last all year long. But no, school just had to start again. Lame to the max, huh? Will you stop babbling and answer the question? But it's so cute. Like a name you would give a panda. Why would you give a panda... Never mind. I was looking all over the place for you, Union. Yeah, same here. That's why Kimi interrupted before... Uh, still, Kimi. who are you? Hey! Our fearless leader has arrived! Yeah, what's up with her? I'm serving as one of the secretaries. I want you to remember this. First and foremost, you are my <laughs> First wife. love, how sweet! Get him, short stack. I'll be here for moral support if okay. you need me. I am of average height! My name's Kimi Toto, and I'm a secretary like him. Toto? There's two secretaries? Why? The cutesy act's convincing, but this girl's actually- oh. Shut up and mind your own business. Okay. They've got too many personalities to keep track of. I don't understand. Yeah, these don't you guys? And don't you don't choose them? them? Then how in the world am I supposed to lead them? Hello, everyone. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. The truth is, I still have a lot to learn. But I swear I'll work hard. Oh, gosh. What is her deal? I can count on all of you to work with me. Sure thing. We're all in this together. Go team! We're together. We're all in this together. I'm gonna work my butt off. You'll see. Oh, that is not working! I don't know how he's gonna run school with this council. This year's student council members have challenging personalities. Yeah. Toto, cheekiness and rude remarks are unacceptable. Kimi almost forgot. Oh, thank you so much for those yummy biscuits you gave Union the other day. He and I ate them together. They were super, oh, super delicious. Oh no. Secretary Kimi Toto, a second year, appears to enjoy instigating conflict. Oh 
Okay, what is this? Somebody's idea of a joke? That sign is ludicrous. And this What does it say? Flowers are blooming beautifully. Thank you. It hasn't been easy. We're short on members, but we're doing the best that we can. Toru. President? Huh? Sorry, but do you think you could do something about him? Expel him. It, he's just like laying in fertilizer. Going around, visiting all the clubs. It's a total snooze fest. We need to interact. Get out there and see firsthand what these clubs are doing. The whole point of the student council is to help our fellow classmates. But we are helping them. You know, by defending the school from evil villains and stuff. You're still on the Power Rangers thing? And there are no villains either. That could be. Villain. It's exhausting. Working with him is a constant struggle. And for some reason, him. people are just naturally drawn to him. It's like he glows with a light I don't have. No way. It's gone. I can't believe it's gone. What did it say? It's an absolute tragedy. Oh, was it Student Defense Force? Short stack. Hey, so it was you, huh? Take this, weasel noggin. So much abuse happening in this episode. You're back, guys. Huh? Check it out, Union. A brand new whiteboard exclusively for Student Council. Where did you get uh, that from? How did you get it? I just asked my teacher really nicely and he gave it to me. Is he allowed to do that? Probably not. That reminds me, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you guys about. What is it? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I kind of love that sound. Right, any color requests? Spit them out, you guys. Shut up! Come on, now. You do know you're part of the school defense force, don't you? Jeez, man. Oh, gosh. Together. Do you know that you're the vice president? No, well, he doesn't. Union should obviously be red since he's our president. <laughs> or green. We can do green or maybe white. I'll be taking black. Cause I'm cool and stoic. Unless you're in like galaxy. No, the galaxy one's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. It's Machi or Kimi. Who wants it? Pink looks so much better on Kimi. Plus I like mm. it. So it's mine. Um, Toto? Yeah, that makes Calm sense. Down. Why is Union being so mean? Refusing to call Kimi. Wait, Kimi. please don't cry. I don't know if it'll do any good, but you could try speaking up. Nah. Which colors would you choose? Could we'll I? just be the blue and be the dolphin. Did you not pay attention? So Machi, you want him to use your first name too? Come on, go ahead. Mm. No, you really don't have to do that. I promise. Kimi, leave her alone. Didn't you hear Machi say she wants to be yellow? See, she's nodding. She's uh, even you're being kind of three meals a day. What should I do? Hey, let's settle down. Okay. Choosing colors is a stupid thing to get worked up about. But you're the one started it. Why are we even bothering with such a useless discussion in the first place? What you idiot suggested this? You started it. Oh, that's right. It was me. Union. Uh, See you tomorrow, okay? Later. Be good. We're Avengers Galaxy. Come on. I... There's captions. I got ink. Uh, I don't. Freak. There's no subtitles. Never mind. We're such a wild card to me. Are you sure you don't mind helping? It's not like you're part of the club or anything. It's no big deal. You're short on people, so I can't. How about bring your rat friends? Ratatouille, but gardening edition. Union. <laughs> Why is this guy still here? I thought you were leaving earlier. I thought she usually walked home with that Toto Honda girl. What she do you? You don't like like her, do you? Why do you ask? Don't start something. Hmm. You? Your cousin. Anyway, from what I've seen, it sure looks like he's her boyfriend. Yeah? <laughs> I knew it. That explains this guy's why trying to start so something. much happier than you all the time. Like, way happier. Uh. <laughs> Is that what you do? Look around to see who's smiling and judge the people who aren't? Does it entertain you? Does it make you happy? Oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, Jeez, I didn't know we were talking to Hatsuharu. You totally lost it just now. You're the one who lost it. I was annoyed. Yeah, well, maybe you should work on that temper of yours. Okay, mom. I just want to strangle him. 
I'm sorry. Even though you were the one I was yelling at, I was actually lecturing myself. I constantly compare. You know what? As as much as I hate the vice president, he is getting some emotion out of uh, Yuki. So I don't know. Should I be happy about this? A voice in my head whispers that maybe he would be a better president. It's so hard not to just run away. He would not be a good president. When that voice follows me everywhere I go. What about all the plans? The most difficult person of all is me. Hey, he reminded me of someone. Things you said. She would have too. You're lucky. Because you get people. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. You Tell you what, I'll make it up to you by planting all of them. You caught me off guard he, too. Such a With wild card. I'm jealous. It made me want to cry. I'm very sorry. I was wrong. I regret my actions and won't do such a thing again. Sorry about what? And who are you? Good yeah. talk, I'm out. Hey! <laughs> There will be conflict, but if we can talk through it and learn to understand each other, I'm starting to think that working with him might not be such a bad thing after all. Eh, maybe not. He is a horrible, uh, vice president, though. All right, all right, so, uh, the student council, how do I feel about it? The VP, I feel, I feel as though he doesn't have bad intentions, though I definitely think that him being there is going to put Yuki in a uncomfortable position. And as much as that sounds like a bad thing, I think it's more of a good thing than bad thing. For instance, like what we saw here, like um, he, he pushed Yuki into saying some things that, yeah, it at first it sounded like it was for the VP, but even Yuki kind of said it like, hey, I was yelling at you, but I was kind of talking to myself. What Yuki was saying was that he he basically judges people based off of whether or not they're happy or not. And he, he sees the people who aren't happy, aka himself, and he thinks of them as losers. At least that's what I kind of got from there. So yeah, he was talking to the VP and he was saying he was saying that the VP looks at other people and judges people based on not based on whether or not they're happy or not. But in reality, Yuki's saying that he does that. It's very interesting to see how the VP views Yuki because the way the VP views Yuki is like he thinks that he knows people like he has this, this certain perspective on people that allows him to get along with everyone and stuff like that. And I don't know, like I feel like Yuki or at least from what we've heard from Yuki's perspective, Yuki doesn't think he's good with people. Yuki keeps on thinking that the VP and people like Kyo are very good with people, have things that bring people towards those type of people. I see people a lot. Whoa. So I find it, I find it interesting that the VP looks at Yuki saying that, hey, Yuki, you get people, uh, you're allowed or you're able to have this perspective that allows you to um, talk to people so easily. Whereas Yuki looks at people like the vi vice president and Yo and thinks that of them. I also want to know what the VP, who the VP was talking about when he was saying, hey, you were, you remind me of this person or like what this person would say to me. And that's why I got upset. But yeah, as for the, the other members of the student council, I don't think they'll be as important. Um, the, the first year or the, the two secretaries the the first year and um asuna i don't think they're gonna be as important as the other ones i do think the other girl whatever her name is was like starts with an m right uh, i do think she has something about her that's very interesting and i kind of want to know more but i feel as though it's gonna be later on in the season or maybe she's just super, super shy i don't know but anyways that was my reaction to fruits basket season 2 episode 13 if you like my reaction like make sure to like and subscribe how do I do the outro again? That was my reaction to Fruits Basket Season 2, Episode 13. If you liked my reaction, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys have anything for me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.